all right what is going on guys back with another video and today we're just going to try to diagnose what's wrong with the camaro and try to figure out why the check engine lights on now a, a couple of you guys commented on the videos uh saying or comment on the last video saying that um let's see all right so one person said check the valve canister and then the um what's it called the vent solenoid so i'm going to check those two i got to figure out what they are exactly because i'm not too sure i never heard about those before on a car i probably have but i just can't remember i'm not a really a chevy guy I'm more of a ford guy so anything about ford ask me any questions i got it but chevy still learning just i've only had the car since forever so i'm still learning about all this new chevy stuff but um yeah i'm gonna get with I, i'm gonna start with that and then i'm gonna check the throttle body because i feel like the throttle body is actually sticking and i only say that because the check engine light was off for a while and then when it came back on, I noticed that the car would hang its revs, slowly start revving by itself, or just do anything that would indicate that the throttle body is sticking. So I'm going to check check that and see if it's like dirty or just what's going on with that because I think that may be the issue. Maybe it's not closing all the way, so that could be the issue. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Uh, I know I will be getting a new throttle body soon. I'm going to get the 76 millimeter overkill throttle body and then I'm going to get that ported as well. So we're going to get that going. I can't do the 80 millimeter since it's not the LFX. Since it's the LLT, they only do the 76 millimeter, which makes no sense. I mean, you teach his own. So, but yeah, I'm going to, uh, upgrade the throttle body, but I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with this car right now before I do any, any more modifications. I have the long tubes on the way. Those won't get shipped out to like January, mid January. So I'm just going to be making content till then. And just doing various things to this car, trying to keep them ready. Uh, I will be taking this car to the track soon, as soon as I figure out what's going on with this check engine light. Because I don't want to take it to the track and something catastrophic happens. And then, you know, I knew about it for a long time and I still wanted to push the car for no reason. So, I mean, other than that, like, the car is still running fine. So, I'm just going to check the throttle body. Check the vent solenoid, or vent canister, and then the, uh, or valve canister, and then the vent solenoid. So, Gonna figure out what those two are real real quick and then I'm gonna hit you guys back up in a second when I start working on the car. So yeah. Alrighty, so now I'm just looking for the valve canister. Trying to figure out where the heck that's at. Probably just overlooked it. Uh I think it's right there. Yeah. Well no, that's the ground. Yeah, um and that's not it right there. Is it hot? Hmm, where can a valve canister be? And it's not in the back by the firewall. I feel like it's somewhere under the car. Because there's not much in this engine bay at all. Or is it over here? Mm, I don't think that's it. I mean, that could be it, but I don't think that is. Ow, hot. Yeah, so um, when, after you get done driving the car, don't touch it. Okay, so I'm going to look this up really quick, and then I'm going to um, get back to it. But I'm going to start with the uh, throttle body first, since I know where that's at, obviously. <laughs> dirty around the edges and it looks exactly where the point to where the car is holding its revs at because it's not holding them high but it's like holding them like really low and where the throttle body connects back to the or the butterfly valve connects back to the throttle body is like that looks like exactly where it's at so i'm trying to clean it up a little bit with some uh, uh brake cleaner and see if that works So we got the throttle body cleaned and everything like that. Uh, just reinstalled it. 
I gotta tighten it down. I gotta check the torque specs on it really quick and then we'll get going. So I totally just missed all that, but I took off the throttle body, cleaned it with some carb cleaner or brake cleaner. Now it looks all nice and clean. Uh, the throttle body is kind of like stuck forward, so it looks like it's letting in too much air. I'm not sure if that's normal, but it looked like it should be closed a lot more. Uh, I gotta plug the sensor back in really quick too. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so I cleaned it off with some carb cleaner really quick. Uh, getting that nice and clean because I felt like the um, throttle body was getting stuck open and so it was just letting in too much air when the car was trying to decelerate because that the revs would just continue to stay at, stay where they were or just start revving up by itself without my foot even being on the throttle. So yeah, just clean that off, torque the bolts down to the torque spec. Uh, I'm about to take out the math so I can check that out and see if that's another issue. Maybe that's faulty or whatnot. So yeah, give me one second. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and see if that worked possibly. But I think I may see the actual issue if I'm not tripping. Alrighty, and I totally forgot I had put <laughs> freaking um what's it called brake cleaner into the throttle body <laughs> a little backfire all right that should be out of there and it still revved a little high on that startup Yeah, so it's still revving high. Why is my tracking control not working? I don't. I didn't touch nothing with tracking control. That's weird. Let me see. Uh, all life. Yeah, all my things are reading. That's weird. Uh, probably just gonna have to turn it off, turn it back on. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right there. We tried some, didn't work. Oh well, we we're one step closer to figuring out what's actually wrong with the car. Uh, everything that we check off, that's not wrong with the car. That's a positive direction. Even though we're not finding an actual prob problem, we're still checking things off the list. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, peace out. Whoa.